All that and more coming up. But first tonight, our top story. Listen to this. They passed Obamacare, but now Congress wants an exemption from it. Lawmakers are holding bipartisan secret meetings to try and find a way to exempt themselves and their staff from part of President Obama's health care law. With more on this, Ovik Roy, senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Ovik, you know, can you say hypocrisy? Look, these are the people who pass the legislation. They think it's good enough for us, but not good enough for them. What do you make of it? Well, you know, a lot of people on the Hill are really scared because a lot of these staffers, particularly, who work for Congress, they're young. And one of the things about Obamacare is that it dramatically drives up the cost of health insurance for young people. So a lot of these right. uh, well, people okay, are going to be exposed. I, I take your point, and I understand it. But the same thing holds true for the rest of America. If people in Washington, D.C., making pretty good dough, can't pay for Obamacare, how in the heck are people across the country going to pay for it? I think that's absolutely right, Jerry, and that's why this is one of, one of the most important provisions in the law. So it wasn't supposed to be in there. What happened was in 2009, when Obamacare was winding its way through the Senate, uh, Republican Senator from Iowa, Chuck Grassley, slipped this amendment into the bill, and all the Democrats had to vote for it because they didn't want to look like hypocrites. <laughs> and now they're stuck with this, this <laughs> amendment that says that members and their staff have to be on the Obamacare exchanges. Well, here's what you wrote in your story. I thought you put it eloquently. You said, look, the idea was simple, that if Congress was going to impose Obamacare upon the country, it should have to experience, experience what it is imposing firsthand. Oh, Vic, you've covered this so intensely, and you've watched it so closely. You know, I have to say, so many unintended consequences. Now Congress won't even abide by it. At the end of the day, uh, what can we look forward to over the coming years? All the important tenets of Obamacare really come into effect. Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing is going to be the rise in health insurance premiums, particularly for people who buy health insurance for themselves and for small businesses. Large businesses, they'll be affected too, but less so. It's going to be individuals who shop for insurance for themselves and small businesses because those are the people whose insurance Obamacare affects the most. And these exchanges are going to be a big part of it. And that's why it's actually very important for these staffers and these members of Congress to be uh, on the exchanges because when the law breaks down, look, you could fill every minute of every hour of every day of your show of stories of dumb regulations that Congress passed that, that yes. we all have to live and, with. And, and I think that's why the stories had that. so much traction. <laughs> yeah, that's why the stories had so much traction is because these exchanges, finally, they're going to have to be stuck with it. And, and maybe that means they'll get fixed or they'll be reformed in the end because we probably are, odds are, we're going to be stuck with this law for a long time. And so it's important that Congress have some insight into how to fix it. You know, it's been interesting to watch John Boehner and Harry Reid because, you know, their minions have been meeting secretly and watching them try to play this story today. Boehner said something like, well, I don't, I don't want anybody to have to, you know, be a part of Obamacare, and it's a terrible law, so I'm happy to do anything I can to keep, you know, members of Congress not having to be a part of it. And then Harry Reid says this, or actually his office said this, Senator Reid believes that this is the effect of the legislation is written and that therefore no legislative fix is necessary. But what's really going on? Don't they think that the Office of Personnel Management is going to do a little fix around the margins? They're going to rewrite the rules a little bit so those guys won't have to worry about a darn thing. Yeah, so, so Speaker Boehner said, look, this is the Democrats' problem. It's their law. They, if they don't want to be stuck under the exchanges, they have to fix it. And what Reid said was actually very interesting because it's very carefully worded. He says no legislative fix. Well, yeah, so no legislative fix. What they're really trying to do is they're trying to lobby this government agency, the Office of Personnel Management, which runs the Federal Employee Health Benefits Program. They're trying to lobby that agency to fix all this so Congress doesn't have to. I'm not sure that uh, that the OPM, as it's called, is going to going to fix everything that Reed wants to. They're going to be stuck with it, I think. But we have to keep an eye on and see what happens. Unbelievable. They're such cheaters at the margin. It's unbelievable. They think we're looking away and, and, they, and they try to get away with stuff. I can't believe it. Oh, Vic, thanks for coming on tonight. It's always great to see you. Same to you, Jerry. Nice to see you. Thank you.